Hi, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, this just came to me in an email. And this is from the Wall Street Journal originally. And uh, shtfplan.com as well. You need to pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen, because this sort of thing happened to Greece before they had all the debacles that they have. Um, the one from shftplan.com uh, basically says, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase restricts ATM cash withdrawals. Um... The Wall Street Journal has today's date, April 4, 2016, written on it. Basically, J.P. Morgan is limiting cash withdrawals on ATM machines um, up to, I believe, $1,000 a day. We saw this in Greece. I think there were several in the South American countries as well before they went under. And this is real, folks. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not conjecture. This is actually happening. Um, of course, they have to have an absolute legal reason, and their absolute legal reason is very simple. They suspect criminal activity. Well, criminal activity can be anything in, you know, state of disarray. Or state of panic prepping can be seen as a, uh, you know, as such an activity if and when it becomes completely known to us that it is, in fact, illegal. So, as it is, ladies and gentlemen, this needs to kind of get out there. I'll show you the Wall Street Journal second because I have one of them actually up and running right now. J.P. Morgan Chase changes last month to fair. Oh, all right, so cash removals of up to $1,000. Maximum daily withdrawals demanded by clients account type. And we come to the Wall Street Journal. Um, basically says Chase, which is uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, which is the same branch of banks. ATMs limit withdrawals uh, for non-customers to a thousand a day this is coming folks I keep saying this nobody wants to listen to me whether it's a fluke or not they don't start limiting your cash flow for nothing they probably did it during the 2007 recession too so I wouldn't be so surprised right now but JP Morgan Chase & Co capped ATM withdrawals at a thousand per card daily Non-customers cracking down as people start pulling out tens of thousands of dollars at a time when the bank was modifying its machines to dispense $100 bills with no limit. So they have to make up some kind of crackpot story to do this. But the reality is lots of insiders know, lots of people have been told to one degree or another that something is around the corner. Trump came out on today, or yesterday rather, I think it was, and he basically said we're on the verge of another economic recession bubble, and this one's going to be large, and it's going to be serious. And in order for it to be large and serious, people have been watching this for a while, and they know. I'm not telling you to do anything with your bank accounts, with or without Chase. I'm just telling you and showing you the information as as I can find it. This happened in Greece before Greece had a bunch of struggles. I'm certain this happened in 2007, 2008 before the struggles began in that time. So an economic situation... From what I understand, this is in the United States, probably in Canada as well. Um, looks like it might be around the corner. You guys might want to start preparing.